Less than a year ago, two local teens started a nonprofit to feed foster families in Pinellas and Pasco counties. Everything was going fine until they got coronavirus. The community jumped at the chance to fill this need. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road with a mother proud of her kids and thankful for mask donations. He got sick very early on. The Kopeck family is quite familiar with COVID-19. In March, Robert was one of the first people in Pinellas County to contract the virus, followed by Samantha, then Laura, then Robert, and Diana. And at the time, the only thing on our minds was the virus. And we said, Diana wasn't thinking about her family so much, more so about the families they'd been serving. We try and provide for them any needs that they might have. Her daughters started feeding the fosters last year, a nonprofit getting meals to foster families. That's the potential is up to 220 meals a day. While the Kopecks were sick, Diana sought help. Molly reached out and said, you know, what can I do? How can I help you? And I said, um, you know, our foster, our nonprofit is is suffering because I can't I can't take it on right now. We could not resist the opportunity to help get masks to children. Back in April, Molly DuPont Schaefer shared with me her mission of helping get masks to the families of hospital workers around town. That same group of sewers took on the needs of feeding the fosters as well. We said they go, they're going to need masks. They're going to need a way to be able to continue in society, to be able to go to doctor's appointments and therapy appointments, to go shopping. And so um, she showed up at my house a few days later with hundreds of masks. What kind of a blessing is it for you, someone who was dealing with COVID and knowing you have this foster community to help, not being able to do it because you're sick and having someone else come in and fill that need for you? It's been a really rough time in terms of life for everyone. And one of the uh, beauties of this whole thing is watching the community pull together. And I think the foster community has felt so much love. It's just been uh, really gratifying to watch the community pull together. That's a good community. Molly's sewing group has made more than 3,000 masks for the community. The biggest concern for feeding the fosters now is making sure that kids have enough masks if children end up back in the classroom this fall.